Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, in this video guys, we're going to go over a piece of my gym equipment that I've had almost a year. It was one of the very first pieces that I even bought, uh, which is pretty odd. Most people wouldn't have done that, but that's what I did because, I, well, I'm me. So that piece of gym equipment is the Titan Fitness high and low pulley lat system. Now I do have a few things wrote down here about the uh, machine. So let's go over that real quick if you'd like. It is Titan Fitness. <clears throat> Plate loaded lat tower version two. Right now on their website it's $449.97. I don't remember what I paid, but I think it was a tad under that. I don't remember. Uh, the weight horns are 13 inch weight horns and that is plenty of room for a lot of weight guys uh, it does have a 400 pound weight capacity it is a one-to-one -one ratio uh, it does with it does come with the uh, lap bar the, the the long one and it also comes with the short one down here Now, they are decent quality. They're not great. It'd be nice if they had the, like the swivel, you know, attachment to them where they kind of have a little bit smoother operation. And, but they feel like a good, thick, decent metal. And that's important too. So, um, it does have, as with most of their equipment, bolt down holes on all the legs. I'll go ahead and show you this one just for fun. Here and over here. Now, the thing about those is that's all great, fine, and dandy, but uh, it's plastic. Like the metal stops probably here, like, and then you just have plastic. So, uh, I don't know how good and sturdy that would be bolting down. I don't assume that you could put much pressure there. So that's, you know, it's nice that they have that, but at the same time, it'd be better if it was all metal construction. Um, I'll talk about the little bit of padding that we have here. The seat itself, nice, pretty nice and firm. The padding for the knees is Perfectly fine. It's a nice, uh, pretty dense feeling kind of a pad. It does have the end caps that keep them from sliding off. And uh, yeah, no, no complaints about the padding or anything. Uh, and they are adjustable. The knee pad is adjustable. I never mess with it. I just so happen to get it pretty much perfect the day I bought it. I just like set it in the correct position and I haven't moved it. So, but it does have this here, a quick release pin, and that moves up and down. Uh, <clears throat> something about the guide rods. Now I do like the whole guide rod uh, construction better than say the tubes. You know, sometimes these things are made with tubes uh, like so, and then they have another tube that slides up and down. Um, those are okay, and I've had them before, but I like the guide rods. In theory, they should be better. Nice chrome plated uh, and round, you know, not square tubing. Uh, it should, in theory, be uh, better than the other option, than the, in my opinion, a little cheaper option. Uh, not really a complaint. I guess it's expected at this price level. But, of course, there's no bearings. There's no kind of nice sleeve in there. It's pretty much just plastic, I believe. Now, I didn't look inside of there before, whenever I put it together. But, you know, there's no... There's no, like, uh, like maybe brass bushing or something or you know something maybe to make it glide a little bit nice and smoother uh, I don't believe that there's anything in there like that 
So uh, I think for $400, maybe, you know, and you could do a little something more in there. I don't know what you could do. And ball bearing, the whole ball bearing and stuff is pretty nice, but it scars up the, uh, the guide rods as I have proof over here on my Smith machine. Uh, those are, those have ball bearings inside the, uh, the carriage thing there. So, and those guide rods are pretty bad, but it is pretty smooth. I have no complaints with that at really at, at the end of the day, no real complaints. Uh, I do believe it's, it's made a, a of a good construction. I think the steel's plenty, uh, strong, plenty, pr plenty strong for sure. Um, and again, just like with the compact heck sled, um, I don't know what gauge steel this is. Now, like I said, with the sled, it's typically around either 14 or 11 gauge that most gym equipment is made of. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what this is. It could be 14 gauge for all I know. I really don't know. Uh, I do know that it's going to hold up with what I'm going to throw at it. And this is the version two. And I believe they say version two, uh, has this brace, which makes it a little bit more stronger and uh, a little bit more resilient to movement and stuff like that. And, uh, and the bolts all lined up. Everything was perfect when I put it together. No complaints. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, that's pretty much all I got on the Titan plate loaded lat tower version two. Uh, no real complaints, guys. I really like it. I've used it since the day I got it. Uh, I do have a video where I actually assemble it. And if I remember, I'll put it at uh, a little tag or whatever, you know, at the end of this video. Uh, do I recommend it? I mean, if you're looking for a decent machine at, a, I think, a decent price, I think it's well worth looking at. I'm sure there's other options out there. And I did look at some other stuff, but I don't know. This one just caught my attention, and uh, I went with it. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I use it all the time. So uh, one thing I do do is, uh, whenever I think about it, whenever I'm doing the low pulley, instead of sitting on the floor... I pull my bench over here and it's just enough space for me to put my bench right here. And actually what I do is I, uh, I decline the bench so it's, uh, so the cable don't rub on it and it gives me plenty of room. And I put my feet against the, the feet stays there and it works out perfect. It works out good. So you can always use your bench right there. You don't have to get on the floor. Uh, it's just hard to remember to do that sometimes if you're used to getting on the floor. So uh, anyway, uh, after almost a year of using this thing a lot, uh, I use it constant. I think it held up. It's a good machine. Um, I, I haven't regretted this purchase at all, ever. And uh, again, it was really one of my very first purchases. I had my little uh, my adjustable bench. I had a handful of dumbbells and then I bought this machine <clears throat> and uh, that was the beginnings of my gym. So, you know, a little unorthodox to how some uh, people might do it, but that's how I did it and no regrets. So everything's good. Good solid construction. The cable seemed good. The pulley seemed good. You know, everything seems perfectly fine. Guide rods still look good nice and clean you know make sure to wipe them off uh, this does have a steel cap on it a little metal cap to keep it from going up <coughs> and uh, this one does as well little metal cap there and uh, yeah anyway guys that's my little uh, review of the Titan high low lap machine version 2 and uh, hope you enjoy uh, go check out the other videos. I'll try and link it in there. And uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And uh, be on the lookout for more videos. We're going to go over the Smith machine. And I don't know anything about that Smith machine, so that's going to be a weird video. All right. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it.
Get up, get out, get round and get